as a matter of fact, there's plenty of people who don't agree with me. There's probably a shit ton of people who don't agree with me who still like me as opposed to anything else. And I am a little late and I apologize, but I had some meetings that I had to attend. That's right. Did you bid on any of the InfoWars office supplies? I did not, but I'm really excited uh, that The Onion did and they got it. Personal news wise, um, normally I talk about what's going on in my life, what's going on in the world of Hassan Hassan Abu Piker. Honestly, I played basketball this morning, uh, ran up and down the court, saw Homelander. Interesting dude. Yeah, see him all the time. He's got two dogs. Anyway, I don't want to be weird. Uh, doesn't matter. People probably do that to me as well, so... Yeah, the Homelander. Yeah, Anthony Starr. Anyway, uh, bald my freaking face off. Had a couple, uh, you know, had a couple meetings. Okay. Wait, what the f is this? Top streamers in the USA in October, Neon on YouTube. Yeah, I don't think these views are real, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to keep it a buck 50. I feel like these are probably not real. That's crazy. Meanwhile, on another stream, Anthony Starr is like, anyway, saw Hassan Abi, incredible. I don't think he knows who I am. No way people watch something this much. No, they don't. It's botted, dude. That's what, that's what it is. Are they adding like views from his VODs? It's botted. It's botted. It's bots. It's bots. Every time you go live, you got like 200,000, 300,000 viewers. It's botted. The writers definitely know who you are. They're pretty tapped in and leftist. Yeah, the writers might, but the Homelander himself does not know. Anyway. I have data from YouTube from election night. More than 45 million Americans watched the election returns on YouTube suggesting a major shift in media consumption habits. Yup. Yup. And I was right there, baby. I was right there, baby. Yo, put Twitch on there too, dog. Come on. Not just YouTube. I was there. I had the largest real election numbers. I will stand on that. I don't give a f what those botted ass rumble numbers look like for Steven Crowder and, and Dan Bongino, okay? Ain't nobody was out there watching Dan Bongino. And it's like, that's with the f black listing taking me off the f uh, front of the website, taking me off the algo. F my haters. I'm still here, baby. Yeah. Put me on the f block list. Still got 315,000 motherfuckers in here, dude. God damn. My dad watched Dan Bongino. He's cooked. Damn. There's like real people that watch Dan Bongino. That's crazy. I know it's my second message, but thoughts on Blue Sky becoming number one download app in the US. You carry planning to join it. The Guardian and many big papers are leaving Twitter right now. I think until like all of my journalists that I rely on and also all of like the people that I talk to leave the platform, I will probably still remain on the platform itself because the thing is like I use it as a, as a primary tool. I use it as a primary tool to talk to people. You know what I mean? I talk to journalists on here. I reach out to people on here. I routinely utilize this platform for breaking news that, you know, my friends and people that I know personally are, in, are, are engaging in, right? So like, ultimately it's, you know, it's an it's a avenue that I still utilize. I use it for my job. And that's it. My take on Blue Sky, if it's just gonna be filled with people talking about itself and Twitter is never gonna take off. For now it's supposed to be like, is this thing on? Wow, this is so much better than Twitter. Why not use both? I think there's a, there is already an account that uh, reposts all of my shit on, on Blue Sky anyway. So like automatically, there's like a bot. Hasanabi repeater, automated mirror. Yeah. If you leave Twitter, won't people follow anyway? Yes. Everyone is always demanding that I leave Twitter and trying to get me to leave and, and go to Blue Sky. But, you know, we'll see. Zuck's new music career is popping off. I know we covered this last night on the Fear and Podcast, which is which turned into Fear and Malding, by the way. It was just a me and Will episode, which uh, I think we did a fantastic job on. It's Thursday, November 14, 2024, and I'm going to do a short stream today. We're going to do a half day stream today. Let me tell you why. Uh, it is because I'm going to do a half stream today because I am going to go to Texas. That's right. I'm going to go to Texas, baby. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't even think about Canute being at OTK game day. That's going to be fun. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, am I going to be streaming in Texas? Hell yeah, baby. You've been doing a half day for the last two weeks. Where's the work ethic gone? I know. Um, I'm going to be hanging out with Nicholas Pollum. All tier three sub. If you nutmeg an MP in the game. Canute told Mike he likes you. Yeah, I know. I, I would go so far as to say that Asmongold uh, uh, probably likes me too. I think it's pretty funny that 
there are definitely there are definitely a lot of people uh, out there who will be like, I don't even agree with this guy, but I think I can chill with him. He's a he's a cool ass hang, you know. All I want is for you to dunk on Tectone. Oh my God, yeah. See, I don't know if Tectone likes me. I think I, I I could say that like with a certainty. I think Asmogold probably likes me, even though he will farm me, right? Uh, he'll farm me to like the sweatiest losers online for sure. But I don't know if Tectone actually has his own personal own personal opinions. Anyway, Tectone doesn't hold a stringle strong opinion. All he does is bay views. Oh, okay. Are we getting a second Alvea stream potentially? Uh, I am uh, thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. We'll see. I don't like anyone that doesn't like us on. That's what I'm talking about, Angel Mama. You tell them. You tell them, girl. That's what I'm saying. It is pretty easy, though, usually, because <laughs> usually the people that don't like me are, <laughs> they have some real dog shit politics, at least on like one issue. You know what I mean? It's got to be at least like something that they disagree with me on. And that, like, I've never met a mother. That's like, I agree with everything he says. I just hate the dude. You know what I mean? There's not a thing. As a matter of fact, there's plenty of people who don't agree with me. There's probably a shit ton of people who don't agree with me who still like me as opposed to anything else. When do you see Dr. Mike? Next week. I'm going to see Dr. Mike Israel next week. We're going to get Brawlic together. Um, I'm very excited about that as well, obviously. Yeah, Dr. Mike Israel, uh, I will be seeing him next week. I'm very excited about that too. I'm going to try and not talk to him about politics and talk about big boy shit that only we understand as big boys. Okay. The real Dr. Mike, the Dr. Mike gym guy. No, Dr. Mike is man. That's it. It's going to get hella gay. Oh, for sure. Oh yeah. Mike is is the living embodiment of the principle that I have always advocated for, which is that the more you go to the gym and the more you lift weights, the gayer you are, right? That's just the reality. And this is something that I brought up to Bradley Martin as well. I think like men, extra gay. Gay men, super gay. The more you lift weights as a gym owner, Mike agrees with you in this. He calls himself gay. Yeah. I'm 62 years old. I worked at a corporate setting for a long time. I made a lot of money. I've never been straight. My wife doesn't even look at me anymore. All I want is a muscle man to feel in my hand. Is that so much fucking ass? I pay my goddamn taxes. <laughs> Notice, priority one is good technique. Never, ever push harder than your technique allows. And if with the perfect technique, the weight's not going up anymore, well, that's it, you hit failure. And if you could schmig it a little bit, could you get another rep? Yes. And other people in the gym may count it as a rep, but remember, God looks down on all of your reps. And if you do a rep like that, he'll actually look down on it. She like appears out of nowhere, you're like, oh, God. He drops your feet, he's like, yay, hear me. The f was that? Anyway. Wait, isn't this guy Dana White or am I confused? Wait, what? No, that's not Dana White. That's Dr. Mike Riz Dr. Mike Isretel. I'm sick and tired of hiding it, except I've never really hit it. Uh, all of my all of my favorites are bald. Anyway, me asking for the Vinny Hacker collab. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll make the Vinny Hacker thing happen as well. Uh, all right. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I got to go because I have to fly out later tonight. Okay. And I have to get ready to do such a thing. Okay, tomorrow, I'm probably going to be live very early. I'm probably going to be live very early, by the way, because uh, I have the uh, OTK game day, and I might be live super early before then to cover any sort of, like, updates in, like, a, like a very short stream if I do that. If not, you can catch me on OTK game day. I'm going to be playing basketball tomorrow. And then the next day, uh, I'm probably going to do a collab with Nick Pollum. And maybe Alveus as well. I'm trying to figure all that out right now. So anyway, on that note, love you guys. Little Peace. Liar.